hi guys in this tutorial we will learn how we can create this type of FAQ section and this will be a very short video because it is very easy Elementor already has an accordion widget accordion as you can see to make this type of uh, FAQ section we will see how we can style our uh, FAQ section just like this one as you can see the title has a different background than the content by default Elementor doesn't have any style option like that so we will use some custom CSS to create something like this but one thing you have to decide first as you can see the first element of our uh, FAQ is opened by default so if you want this to be closed you have to use the toggle widget in here okay so the for the toggle the first element will be collapsed by default okay so if you want this collapsed by default use the toggle or if you want to make it open by default use accordion okay create a section your FAQ section in here and let's uh, for this tutorial purpose set the height to fit to screen and set a background color to dark blue this one and in here let's make this the top content position so first we'll add the uh, title area so insert an inner section in here you can just duplicate this because we will be needed this later so for the first let's delete the one column and insert our heading in here so this will be our heading so i'm not focusing much on the heading area because you guys know how to do that just uh, use it as a placeholder okay so for the inner section for the title we can uh, set the width to something like 625 now we will create this area in my case i will make this collapse by default so we, i will use the toggle okay so we will use the toggle and you can insert the title in here uh, as you can see in here our arrow will be on the right so let's go to the style the icon and set it to right and this color will be white obviously color white and for the active the color will be this blue color let's set it to that blue color mm, for the toggle we'll have a background obviously for the title uh, let's set the background to this color the title color will be white so let's set this to white and for the active color we will have this blue color so let's set this blue color so it's not visible right now but when we apply css to make the background color to this white it will be visible and also for the content we will have the white text and blue background so let's go to the content for the background let's set to blue for the text we will have white text and now our toggle section is done almost so let's duplicate this few times and for the icons as you can see for our active icon there is a little arrow so this is a custom svg icon so we will use the default uh, elementor icon for now so for the active we will use arrow click the all icon then search for arrow let's use this for now okay so for the active our arrow color will be that color it is not visible right now because we have haven't set our background color to white so now our toggle is set okay the border width will be zero because we don't need any border okay so let's save this and let's check it out as you can see this is how it looks right now so let's go to our custom CSS section but first we will add a class to this toggle so let's call it FAQ so let's go to our CSS section and let's add some CSS so if you inspect our uh, toggle as you can see in here it is called element or toggle item okay we have to target this class but if you use the accordion let's add accordion on the right hand side accordion let also let's copy this style from here save 
okay so on the right hand side we will have accordion on the left we will toggle but if we inspect our accordion as you can see this is called elementor accordion item and for the toggle it is called elementor toggle item so we have to target this toggle item or this accordion item okay so let's go to target our class first that will be called faq because both of our faq has a class called faq okay so let's target the faq then for our toggle as we are working on the toggle let's target elementor toggle item first we will set our border radius and we will add some margin just like this so let's set the border radius to 10 pixel border radius 10 pixel add the important to override the elementor default css and we also need some margin bottom so margin bottom will be 10 pixels and let's save this and let's see if anything works as you can see our margin is working but our border radius is not working because we have to add overflow to hidden so that anything beside our div will be cut off okay let's refresh as you can see now our border radius is working perfectly fine so now we need to apply the background color for our title first of all let's uh, target our title it's called elementor tab title okay elementor tab title elementor active so when you active any tab this class is added so we need to target the whole thing so let's first target faq then elementor tab title elementor active you have to target the faq then tab title and tab active there will be no gap between them because this both class is on the same element okay so now we need to set the background color background color to white and we also need to apply the imported in here and we also need this border okay so let's add border bottom let's set it to 7 pixel select and let's set the color and let's set all this to important as well so let's update and see let's see how it looks now as you can see for our active we have this effect in here so if you want to apply the same round effect in here i'm just duplicating this for the accordion instead of elementor toggle item we have to target the elementor accordion item let's target that everything else will be same just this thing will be different so let's refresh now as you can see we also have rounded corner for that type toggle. so now we are almost done we just need some padding in around here so go to toggle let's see we have padding option yes let's add 20 pixel padding and for the content 20 pixel padding perfect same for this accordion as well so i'm just copy pasting this as you can see padding is added so let's refresh and now our faq is looking a lot like this one you can also add this little transition effect as you can see there is a little bit transition effect going on so if you want to add this transition we have to again target our tab title we need to target our title because the animation is on on the title so let's call faq tab title and we have to set a transition transition to background color background color set the time 0.4 second each then we need to set the important transition background color because we do want to transition our back, background color of our FAQ so now if I active as you can see there is a little bit of transition going on 
so now our FAQ section is done so that was it and I hope you guys like it and I will see you in the next video